In this video, I will show you how to work with the feature header. So this is your feature header area. So let's go to the theme settings header. On the header feature area, you can see this option, default header image and default header image padding. I will explain this later. So let's go to the uh, header page, header page, where you can upload your header image or you can choose an image from your media library. So for example, I like to use this one, set as image header, so you can crop and publish, skip cropping publish image as is, so you can choose it. So this is my custom head. I will click this one. Let's refresh this one. Oh, this is my header. So let's try to use different image because basically I use uh, image with transparent background. So let's try to, okay, I will choose this one. Set as header. Okay. So you can play with this. Okay, I want to make it bigger. Okay, crop and publish. Done. Oh, but then I don't like it. I need to give space and the top and the bottom so you only need to go to the theme setting and on the header take this one so this is your default image uh, it will be used on most of your pages But when you create or edit any page, any product, you can change the header. So let's say for the blog page, you will see header setting where you can choose image, slider, custom, or disable. So let's say I will choose custom and then let's say I will display recent products oh nice idea but I don't want to add any title here let's see what happens okay so when I click this blog page it will display four recent product at the header okay if you don't like it you can choose the source slider where you can upload any kind of image no limitation on the image hey you can choose it click use this image see very easy